Hi, this is Tina, and this is my channel, Online Selling with Tina. And today, I just want to share this really exciting tool that I have been playing around with. I'm not going to get too in-depth with this, but I am going to show you the basic of um, using it. It is called the Product Opportunity Explorer in Amazon, and I'm just so excited about this tool. I've been playing with it the last week in my spare time when I'm not too busy shopping or shipping in shipments. So to get to this page, you will get go into your Amazon seller account and you're going to click over or hover over the word growth here uh, in your search bar. And then you're going to click down here at the bottom to Product Opportunity Explorer. And it's going to bring you here to this page in your Amazon selling account. Now, I had just been searching funny oven mitts, and that's why this is on here. But just really quickly, you can search. Well, let me go to the very beginning. Hold on. Take you here to Product Opportunity Explorer. Let's see if it'll refresh this okay so actually the page will look like this when you first click it and it already gives you ex example um, niches from your categories in the United States so what populates for you is going to be different than what mine is now if you're not wanting to use the United States perhaps you sell somewhere else you can click this um, option here and these are the different countries that you can research in so since I'm here in the United States I'm going to leave it there now you can find opportunities by categories by clicking this bar here and scrolling through if you are specifically wanting to search a category if you're not wanting to source that way and you have an idea in mind like I don't know, Halloween is coming up, which may not be the best thing to look for because right now ranks aren't going to be the greatest on Halloween items. But what I love, like always, is it suggests to you already categories for Halloween right here. I'm going to click um, decorations. All right, this needs to go away. Okay, so now we have the matching niches for Halloween decorations in the United States, and it pops up search volume in the last 360 days automatically. So, I mean, look how many people search for Halloween decorations just by itself. Um, gosh, there's so much I could talk about with this. So if you're making listings, um, it's already giving you the top search terms right here. So this is like a keyword paradise. And each of these is even clickable to find more products. I mean, there's so much information here. And this is free, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so it gives you a pretend score um, search volume of course this is the past 360 days the past 90 days um, for search volume and number one top clicked products uh, 208 clicks the average sales price and the price range and just going down this page right here you can already have a lot of great ideas without even narrowing down anything yet Okay, like I said, I'm not going to go deep into this, I promised. So here we can filter results. Now on the results um, that you can filter are all of these topics. So if you're wanting to look for an average price, you can do a price range. You want your minimum, let's say, to be 20 and your maximum to be 100. Um, you can do average units sold. You can do it um, for volume change, search volume. All of these things are clickable, and you can uh, enter in your own filters, hit submit. And now this is going to spit out new information for you. It looks like it's a lot of the same thing. So um, that price range that I clicked in must have been um, what it already what these things already sell for. This looks new. I don't remember that uh, image or this image in the first one. Um, now from here, what we can do, let's go ahead and click on this Sally doll. So you'll want to click a listing maybe that um, jumps out for you. What's interesting on this one to me is, look, this is um, not in English right here. So it tells you that this is definitely being searched by non um 
English speaking or typing people in the United States. So I would think that this would come up if it was out of the country. Let's click on uh, this uh, backpack. So once you are clicked on the, or I, it, this is like a purse, not a backpack, um, it tells you um, the details for just this listing. The really powerful part here is once you click on a product of something that you're very interested in or narrowing it down um, for yourself, here you can do the, the products. And so here are comparable products, right? You can click search terms, which is very powerful. So this is what people are actually typing in to Amazon. And this is the search volume for this particular um, search term. And here is all of the details about um, these exact purses or backpacks with these exact search terms. The search volume for that, I, I mean, ah! I'm just so excited, you guys. I feel like I can't even focus on what I'm telling you. Now, jumping over here to this one on Insights. Um, on Insights here, this is also really, really um, powerful. It tells us so much. So today, there are 84 products. 90 days ago, there was 59 products. This tells you how many of these items are sponsored products. This means people um, doing advertising campaigns. When you go down below, there's 30 brands, um, and this is the more current as of today. There are 30 brands. Um, of the top five brands, 76% of them is share clicking, which tells you that not one of them is dominating um, that, that this listing, you know, that not just one of the backpacks is dominating. Now, I like this down here. The number of new products launched in the last 180 days, here is five of them, and three of them have been successful. So let's say that you are going to be launching this kind of a backpack with this theme on it. This tells you that three out of five of the new launches have been successful. So this is just amazing. I told you I was gonna keep it quick. I'm not gonna totally deep dive into this, but please play with this tool, you guys. It's so awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.